hope everyone's doing fantastic um let's uh make sure that we get um yeah make sure we're getting some uh, audio and visuals good so i did work on uh, getting this mic set up so my audio isn't like going up and down um mr chris powers told me that uh, i tested it with him this morning he says everything uh sounded good to him so um if there are any issues it's all his fault Okay, so just so we're clear, it's all Chris's fault. Actually, if there's any problems at all today, it's just Chris's fault. So, um, yeah, blame him. <laughs> Sound is great. Sweet. Okay, I think I finally finally dialed in the audio, the new audio setup. Man, now just don't touch it. <laughs> um, so today, I thought it would be... Um, a good time to uh, revisit some basics, I guess. Um, you know, I do have a, a very popular video, um, you know, blog in 30 minutes. That I, I think that was a live stream as well. I don't remember, actually, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, over the years, A, there's maybe some settings tweaks and browsers behave a little bit differently for some things. So, um yeah, I thought, I thought it would be fun to completely implement a new blog from scratch. Um, I'm not even going to start with dummy data. We're just going to completely start from scratch. Um, so, yeah, before we get started, though, um, just want to say that I, I've been populating uh, the summit with talks. So if you head over to summit.weavers.space, um, I'll plop that in the chat. If you haven't gotten your ticket yet this year, um, it is a amazing three-day virtual conference um, for you guys, right? Um, and uh, I know you guys get are sick and tired of hearing from me. I mean, you guys get me at least once a week. If you hang out, the, if you join the Hangouts on Fridays, it's twice a week. And you're like, Joe, why do I want an entire three-day weekend of you? Well, you're not getting of me. You're hearing from your fellow Rapweaver users. Um, I've gotten some really great talks and guess what? Isaiah is going to jo be joining us again this year. So that's super exciting. Um, I'm glad Isaiah is going to be, uh, be able to join us. He wasn't able to join us last year, but this year, uh, he's good to go. So, um, I'm excited about that. Um, and we have some really good talks lined up from, um, some really amazing pros and, uh, and a lot of users. So we have, uh, 15 talks lined up so far. Um, we're still working on some of them are still TBD. Uh, we're kind of discussing and coming up with ideas and good synopsis for those talks. Um, so yeah, check it out and uh, go get your ticket. It's $99 for a full three day weekend uh, with me and your fellow Rapweaver users. Um, we do a lot of cool stuff. It's not just like sitting in front of your, your computer like this. Um, we have um, three hangouts every day now. Man, we do a before the conference hangout a midday hangout, and then like a post-day hangout. Like, so you get like full access to chit chat and talk with other Rapid Ever users and Stacks users and and um, have have a lot of fun. So um, if if you guys, if you're here and you're you're watching and you've joined a previous year, just post in the chat, let everyone know how much you enjoyed it. That'd be great. Um, yeah, we're trying to um, see if we can get more users this year, more uh, attendees, that would be awesome. So. Please go ahead, go to the summit.weavers.space, get yourself a ticket. It is October 22nd to 24th. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you there. Cool. Um, so without further ado, um, let's jump on in to Total CMS. Okay. Boom. Oh, um, let's close this project out. I guess here I'll, I'll show you a, a cool... Did I show this off on the on live stream? I don't remember if I did or not. Cool, a uh, new version of Quick Flip. Quick Flip 4 is uh, coming out and with just some really upscaled animations. And um, you can actually, if you notice here, um, there's three different sides. You can actually have unlimited sides now. So it could just flip and flip and flip. Um, guess what? It works with blog too. So you can like flip through blog posts and all kinds of stuff. Um, so yeah, quick flip four, um, coming very soon. Cool. Okay. Right. Um, we are going to start with a completely blank project file. <clears throat> oh, 
October 22nd. Is that caps lock day? I did, didn't even know that was a, a day. There is seriously a caps lock day? I don't even, okay, so just to let you know, I don't even, I've disabled caps lock. The caps lock key on my keyboard doesn't actually perform caps lock. Um, I use it as the quote unquote old school hyper key. Um, so it's like allows me to do a bunch of automations and stuff. So, um, so anyway, yeah, um, didn't know that caps lock day. Interesting. Is that an international thing? Hmm. I don't know. Never heard of it before. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and start with a new project file. Actually, Gaston, he is going to be, uh, one of the speakers at the conference this year. And, uh, man, it, he, he's done some pretty, pretty slick stuff with foundation and total CMS and foundation six. And, uh, man, he's going to show off what he's been doing and uh, it's going to blow your mind. It's really cool stuff. Okay. Anyway, um, am I sharing my screen? Yes, I am. Cool. New project file, brand spanking new. Um, let's go ahead and just do some, just some initial setup. So we're going to add in a stacks page. Okay. Um, we're going to publish this to my sandbox, um, sandbox. We'll just go there. Oops. HTTPS. There we go. And just so that we can do publishing setup. Oh, um, save this to my desktop. Let's we'll do blog 30 min. Okay. And we'll do publishing setup. Um, we'll do. You know, I, I got to talk to real Mike. I wish there was a way to add from bookmarks here. So we're just going to say next. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to add from bookmarks. I'm going to add this one. Yes, that's what I want. We're going to remove this one. And we're going to publish. Just that we have a brand spanking new project file. Oh, uh, one thing I do, I do want to do. Oh, shoot. Um, hold on, let's do this really quick. Um, one thing I always change in my new project files is default extension is going to be PHP. Okay. That's just to save me some headaches going forward. All right. And I accidentally published with the HTML file and now I have the PHP file out there. So I'm going to go and delete that. Oh boy. So, um, in case you didn't know, you shouldn't have index.html and index.php on your server. Um, I always use PHP files, just it's, I make it the default page in my projects. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that bad boy there. Okay. Uh, I'll leave this open. I might need it in the future. Okay. Actually, um, just to make sure we're completely clean. Um, I'm going to take the CMS, CMS data folder that's on my server and I'm just going to rename it to, um, old, I guess. Okay. So now I have completely it's a completely new server um no total cms data at all so um you don't think i'm trying to fool you or trick you that i pre-did anything okay we're doing this from scratch everybody all right let's go ahead and uh publish this uh, oh i wanted to also do i also have my default theme set to foundation six um i want to keep this just with total cms today um so i'm actually going to go ahead and um ba -ba -ba. let's go to the rap Uber seven themes and I, I always like reason. It's a nice little theme um, from Nick Cates. Hat tip to Nick Cates there. Okay. Um, let's just preview that really quick. Okay, right, cool. And let's publish that. Boop. And uh, just for fun, let's bring up Safari. Multiple, what? Oh, did I, I didn't rename this page. Earn it. I created it, but didn't rename it. Okay, PHP, uh, change file name. And go ahead and delete the index again. All right, excellent. And now, oh, well, I'm gonna have to publish again because I renamed my page. Voila. Sandbox, boom, we have a completely new page. Okay, completely new project file, as you can see. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and implement blog, fun stuff. 
All right, so now we have a clean slate. So before we actually get into adding stacks and whatnot to the page, um, let's just back up really quick. And, oh no. I hate when I do that. There it goes. All right. Um, so, total CMS blog, okay? Um, a lot of people tell me that, Joe, you shouldn't call it a blog because it's so much more than a blog. Yes, it is. Um, it is so much more than a blog and you can do it for, you can abuse it for so many reasons. But if I didn't call it a blog, then people wouldn't, uh, people would wonder how to do a blog in total CMS, right? So, uh, we had to start from something. I know a blog is a very popular thing that people want. And today we are going to implement it as a blog. However, um, people have used blog for all kinds of things. I mean, um, if you saw last week. Chris Powers created an entire like CRM using blog, like crazy. That is just crazy stuff. Um, but most common use cases are like product e-commerce sites. Um, you know, so each blog, each essentially each blog post is a product, not a blog post. You're just using reusing the fields for other things, right? Okay. We're not going to go into like how to use Total CMS as e-commerce site today. Um, but what we are going to go over is um, how to implement blog from scratch um, to create a blog. Okay. Um, so essentially blog has three pages. Okay. Uh, well, actually uh, technically four pages. I'm sorry, four. There's four components to a blog. Okay. Um, at least basic components. And there's two content sides and two admin sides, okay? What I mean by that is um, on the content, so what our visitors are looking at, they're looking at our blog on, on the content side, right? They have a blog list, so a component that lists out all of our blog posts. And then we have another one that uh, when you click through that, you go to like the dedicated blog post page, right? And then on the admin side, we essentially have those same exact components, but for the admin side. Now, the admin side is going to be something that is, um, you know, only you or your, you know, maybe your customer has access to so that they can actually create new blog posts or edit existing blog posts. And on the admin side, guess what? We have an admin list. So we have a way to list out all of our content. And then next on top of that is when you click on one of those, you need to have a form that actually has all of our fields. Okay. So today we're going to be implementing a, again, a very basic, a basic blog. Um, I'm probably not going to use all the various fields. Um, but as we go on, you'll see that there are a lot of extra fields that, um, you know, you can implement. Um, I'm not going to be implementing every single field today. Okay. Um, but it's just the, the ability to, you know, add those extra fields. The process is pretty much identical. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and let's hop back into Rapid Weaver. And uh, let's go ahead and build, start building this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to create the, the kind of the page structure. Okay. And um, so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to actually rename this to blog list. Okay. I'm going to name this page blog list. And that's going to be like our content side blog list. Okay. Then um, I'm going to do, I'm going to add another page. Let's go ahead and add another page. Okay. And this is going to be uh, the blog post page. Okay. There we go. Actually, you know, let's, I'm going to, uh, Let's change this up. Let's make it a little bit more lifelike. Okay. I'm going to add one more page in here. I'm going to add a home page. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, we'll spice it up a little. We'll go a little bit past the the, the basics here today. So we're, we're going to have um, a home page and then we're going to have a blog page. Because a lot of times that's what it is, right? A lot of times people have a, a you know, a dedicated page for their blog. So we're going to do that. Okay. And then... We're going to have, um, 
we're going to create our admin stuff. So we need, um, we're going to create an admin. Okay. And then under that, we need one more page. And uh, this is going to be blog post. We're going to make that a sub page of admin. All right. So now let's go ahead and name all of our pages. Okay. So here we have home and that's just going to be um, at the root. Uh, yep. And then we're here. This one's going to be slash blog. Okay. And then blog post. So blog post, um, what I'm going to do is, so we're going to be setting up later on, we're going to be setting up, um, thinking of URL structures. Okay. So I'm going a little bit of a head, a little head here. Um, I'm not going to fully explain it, but let's just do blog. And normally I strongly recommend that you always name every page, every file name index.php. However, this one time is an exception and it is on your blog post page. Okay. What I can do is I'm going to recommend that you call this post.php. Okay. Still under the blog folder, but name it post.php. Okay. Um, and then here we have slash admin. Okay. And uh, we'll do this um, slash admin slash blog. Okay. Excellent. All right, so that is our, our basic page structure now. All right, so we have, um, and then now also, uh, let's preview this really quick. So here we'll see that we have a home, a home blog and then admin. Now, a lot of times you don't wanna have admin in the um, navigation of your, of your website, right? Maybe sometimes you do, depending on what your site functionality is. Um, but maybe sometimes you don't want to show the sub pages. So maybe you want the admin button there, right? But you don't want to show the blog post. So we're going to go to the blog post and uncheck that. Okay. And that gives us a nice single admin login area. Okay. Um, and then here under blog, we don't want blog posts to be show up in the, in the navigation because our blog list is going to link to all those things. Right. So on this blog post page, we're going to uncheck that as well. So now we have home blog and admin. Okay. Um, and it's up to you if you want to have admin there or not. A lot of people, what they'll do is maybe put like a little hidden link in the footer or like a little lock icon so that, you know, cause only your, the admin of the site wants to be able to see that. Right. I'm going to leave it there just to keep things simple for us today. Uh, but again, you probably want to remove admin from the main menu of the site. Okay. And again, simple enough. You just uncheck that from show navigation. Okay. And we're going to leave it on though. It actually kind of looks kind of nice. Okay. Um, so there we go. Let's get started. Um, where do we start? Let's start from the admin side. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead because we need to be able to create blog posts in order to display them. So, um, we're going to implement the admin stuff first. So let's go ahead and, um, I have a little specialized group in my stacks library that has all of my total CMS stacks. And as we know, the orange stacks, um, so the orange backgrounds, those are our admin stacks. And then our white with the orange icon, those are our content stacks. Okay. So uh, you'll notice that there is a blog list stack here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create, I'm gonna chuck that onto the page. And this is our admin blog list. Now, if you look, it says there's an error in here saying you must add admin core stack to the page. Why? Thank you for the help because I almost forgot that. So uh, what we're going to have to do is on every page that you're going to want to have admin stuff for Total CMS, uh, you're going to want to add the admin core stack to the page. Okay. Um, and so you're also going to have your license. So um, let's go ahead and put my license in here. Um, now I have a video on registering your total CMS license. Um, if you don't know how to register it, just, you basically check this and then you preview your, um, your page. And then this, this should show up inside edit mode. Okay. And then you can go ahead and put, type in your domain, put in your serial number and click register. And then that will, um, register your license of your domain. Uh, once you, once you've done that, you can uncheck this box inside rapid weaver. Okay. Done. 
So now um, admin core has a bunch of other settings. Um, if you're using foundation, um, I recommend setting this to yes. We are not, so I'm just gonna go ahead and you can leave it at auto checker, it does auto check. But um, yeah, it's nice just to go ahead and say, no, I'm not using foundation right now, okay? And if you notice, once you do that, it kind of fixes some things and makes some things a little bit nicer in edit mode um, if you're not using foundation. Okay, um, we're not gonna play with too much here inside the admin mode, inside admin core. We're probably gonna leave most of this as default. Um, there's a, a bunch of videos on that already. Okay, and now we have the blog list. And um, if we preview this, um, oh, it's saying, oh, look here, we have an error inside edit mode. Or in preview saying, cannot communicate with total CMS. Either you have, you have not published your project file yet to your website or your website is not properly set. So. Um, once you add admin core, um, it's going to start wanting to query total CMS on your server. Okay. Uh, to, for data. So it can actually display the CMS data inside rapid Weaver for you. Um, but I haven't published it online yet, right? Because this is a new setup. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, let's publish this. And this is now going to create all of our pages and all of that jazz. So here we go. Have a drink. Massimo's here. How's it going, Massimo? Okay, you twiddle your thumbs and we're almost done. Boop. Okay, now uh, if I go ahead and preview Rapid Weaver. Either you have not published your project or your website is not properly set. I thought I set my project file. Sandbox. Oh, whoops. There we go. Sandbox.joeworkman.net. I had my web. Haha. -ha, see, that was a complete accident. I had accidentally pasted the wrong URL here in my web address field and it wasn't working. So um, there we go. The error is always correct. Okay, so now that I fixed my web address, let's go ahead and publish that again. <laughs> now it's going to want to republish everything. Oh, just the web pages. Nice. That was a lucky mistake. Okay. Um, there we go. So let's go. Oh, we were on the admin page. Admin page. And voila, the error is gone. And it says we have zero posts. Cool. All right. Good. Because we do have zero posts. Um, let's go ahead and let's go to our blog post page here. Okay. Uh, and one thing I also like to do, uh, actually here, we'll, we'll get back to that. Okay. So now this is our blog post page. This is going to contain the blog form. Okay. So, um, as we had before, um, I'm not going to create partials and all that jazz. Normally what you'll do is you're going to create a partial that you add on all of your admin pages. Um, here, let's just do it. Okay. I'm going to create a partial. Um, and then here is our partial. We're going to call this um, <clears throat> blog in 30 um, admin. Okay. Back. So then we have this partial. And then I'm going to add this partial into this page. Voila. Now that everything is all in sync. Okay. So if we go in here, all of our license data and all of our other settings is in sync. So if we change anything, it'll now change it everywhere or it'll change it on both admin pages. Okay. Um, next up is we want the blog form. So we're going to add the blog form to the page. Okay. And um, here we go. We'll notice that we have a bunch of fields that we can add. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and make a, sim a really simple blog form. Okay. So we're going to do title. We're going to add the date. Um, let's add author. Um, and there's genre categories, tags. I'm just going to use category right now. Okay. We're just going to leave it at just that. Um, then I'm going to have a, uh, let's have draft and we're going to have featured. Um, then we're going to do, we're going to add a, um, an image. I guess we're just going to go all out. We're going to have a gallery. We're going to have a summary. 
and then we're going to have content. Wow. All right. And then we're going to have a save button. Okay. And a delete button. Cool. And do I have a button stack? Oh, I do have buttons. Nice. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and add that to save, add that to delete. Um, And then we're gonna do, uh, this one's gonna be alert. We're gonna say delete. Okay. Oh, here, look, delete. Uh, and then this is, um, yep, save. So we have a save button and a delete button. Okay. All right, let's, um, so now this is all of our fields, right? But if you look, I mean, this, this doesn't look too nice, right? So let's, Let's make this look a little prettier, okay? So um, one thing uh, before I start organizing this blog form a little bit that I see people do all the time, if you notice for, for blog, the blog, you add all of the fields via this plus menu, right? You have to, okay? You cannot go and say, oh, I want a date field and add this date field. You cannot do that. It will break. Okay, so do not add any of these other things. Don't add gallery, don't add file, don't add rating. You can't do that. The only things you can add to a blog form stack in terms of form fields are what's here. Okay, you cannot just will and nilly start adding all these other things. It will not work. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just create like a simple blog form layout. Um, probably just gonna create a two column shift here. Um, man, it's been a while since I used a default column stack. Um, let's do like a, uh, something like a 65, 35 split, something like that. All right. And then on this side, we're going to have, let's see, I want to have title up top, uh, or permalink. And then above that, we want the title. And then below that, we want the date. Um, over here, I want author and categories. And then uh, I'm gonna have another two column there. And we're gonna have draft and featured. Um, and then we're gonna do image. And then um, we're gonna do the summary. And we're gonna do the content. And I'm gonna have the gallery. Oh wait, this image is gonna be below there. All right, and then All right. interesting. Why is that going over there? Hmm. Let's just keep it like that. I'm gonna go like I want that there. And then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put our buttons over here. All right. Now, if you guys are wondering, um, if we preview this, you'll notice that we didn't see the delete. We don't see the delete button. Okay. And that's because the delete button only shows up um, when we're editing an existing blog post. Okay. So by default, we're creating a new blog post, um, and so the delete button isn't gonna show. Okay. But uh, when we when we edit a blog post, we want to give the ability to delete that blog post. So there you go. Um, and by the way, you can use whatever button stacks you want. Um, these are just the button stacks that come with Total CMS. They're very simple. Um, but um, yeah, if you want to use your own Foundation Six buttons or whatever button stack you want, um, just drag these into the save and delete um, stacks. Okay. Um, if you notice over here, actually, I'm going to add. Um, just add a little text box uh, here. And I'm just going to say, uh, draft and featured. Make sure that, all right, there we go. Cool. Um, do we have alignment here? I'm going to do alignment left. Cool. There we go. There we go. I like it. It's good enough. Okay. 
Um, so let's go ahead and um, I'm going to publish this now because I want to start creating some blog posts so we can see them on the content side. All right, and uh, let's open up Safari. And if we go to sandbox.joeworkman.net, uh, we're gonna go to admin and we have nothing there, okay? And, oh, wait, how I can't get to there. How do, so how do I get to that new blog form page? Hmm. So um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to this page and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a button. And just to keep these things as simple as possible, I'm gonna use the default stacks button. And um, we're gonna say um, new blog post. Okay. And um, we're going to link it to page admin blog post, set link. And uh, we're gonna align it to the right. Let's publish that. Fresh. Voila, now I have this new blog post button um, on the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And it takes us to our form. So we have a new blog post form now, okay? Um, and let's just start typing some stuff. This is my first blog post. Now, a couple things. Um, I'm just gonna give some bl blog tips um, as we go along. By default, the permalink field um, is, it, it's based off the title of your blog post. However, as long as you haven't saved the blog post yet, you can actually edit the permalink, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this one to be first blog post instead of this is my first blog post. Okay. Uh, today's date is fine. Um, just add some lorem ipsum text into here. Um, I'm going to do that as well. Okay. Doki. Um, and then uh, author, uh, we're going to add uh, Joe Workman. Categories is, um, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna call it live stream. Oh, we'll just call it live. Okay, live. Um, I don't want it draft or featured. Um, let's do um, the featured blog post is going to be, how about uh, this one? There we go. Weaver space live, okay? And um, let's add some blog images to the gallery just for fun. Let's go ahead and add um, that. We're gonna add that. Okay, that's good enough. Save. Oh, um, by the way, uh, you can click the save button. Um, it's just muscle memory for me. Command S also saves blog posts. And um, so yeah, and we get the green check marks everywhere, even on the gallery images. So we're good to go. If we go back to the admin page, we'll see that I now have my first blog post. Pretty cool, right? And uh, go ahead, if I click on this, We'll see that, um, oh, it doesn't work. Aha, what did I do here? So something very important that I completely skipped, all right? In the blog list, um, you need to set up your blog form page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a blog form page and we're gonna link to my blog form page, which is right there, set link. Okay, another very big thing, a very, 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 very big thing. This is a big no-no that I didn't explain this earlier, okay? Um, and it just kind of works out of the box, which is kind of cool too, but I, I, it is important to explain this. There is a very important setting throughout all of Total CMS stacks, okay? And that has to do with what's called the Total CMS ID. Okay, every total CMS stack has a total CMS ID setting. 
And that ID must match everywhere. So like, for example, I have the blog list and I have a blog form, okay? Now with Total CMS, you can have multiple blogs, as many as you want on the same website. So by default, the blog is, the CMS ID is just called Total CMS, okay? But obviously we can change that. And in order to tie the blog list to the blog form, they need to have the same ID, okay? So this ID is a very, very, very important thing. And a lot of people, including me just right now, didn't mention it, okay? So let's let's jump in. Um, so here I have this blog list and the total CMS ID is set to be total CMS. Now, uh, I'm not gonna change that right now because that's fine. Uh, I'm only gonna have one blog on this and that's okay, okay? Um, if we go to the blog post page in the blog form stack, you'll you'll see that the total CMS ID here is also set to total CMS. Now, a lot of people will change the ID to be blog, okay, or products or whatever, okay? Again, I'm gonna leave it as total CMS and call that good, okay? Um, cool. Let's go ahead and... I, I fixed this blog list linking, right? Which is important, this blog form page setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish that. Let's refresh this page. And I have my blog post. And now if I click on it, it takes me to the blog post form page, okay? and I can edit the contents. And you'll notice here that I have I now have that delete button, okay? Style a little funky, um, but it's probably a conflict with this theme, okay? But we're not gonna worry about that right now. So here I have all of my, you know, blog post content that I can do that. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually just gonna create a couple new blog, blog posts. So we have at least three, okay? Okay, and we're gonna Okay, and then um, now here's another tip in the blog form field. Um, I know that I already exist, so I could either start started typing Joe Workman and it will show up here, or um, if you just double click on the field, um, that little pop-up will come up and you can select an existing item, okay? Um, so like there I could see live, but here I'm gonna, I'm gonna do summit as my category, okay? And let's just do some, some stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead and voila, Weaver Space Summit. And uh, let's just add some images to the gallery again. Okay, we got Saintly Brian. All right, we got some more. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and, and we're going to make this featured. Okay, we're going to save that. All the images are uploading. Cool. There we go. Uh, one thing you might you might want to do, maybe have another new blog post button right here on the blog form. So if someone just wants to keep creating blog posts, if that's a, a workflow, then you know you can do that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to new blog post again. Um, my third blog post. Okay, we'll leave that there. Lorem, do I have it? Okay, good. And uh, author, Joe Workman, categories. Um, I will put this in live as well. So we'll do this under live as well. And then uh, boo -boo. let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we need some gallery images. So I'm just gonna do the boring, the same old ones. Here, let's get me in there. Let's get uh, 
Google page test speed from foundation six because it's awesome. And we'll, we'll do another one. All right, there we go. And save. Voila. All right, so now we go back to admin and I have three blog posts. Okay, this one particular one's featured. Cool. Um, so now that I have some, some data, okay. Now I also have some dummy data uh, that you can download and upload to your server. Um, maybe I should have done that for just for speedness, but I thought it was, it was kind of good just to do something completely custom and, and off the cuff here. So, but our admin side's pretty much done. I guess one thing we, we could add to the admin side um, is if you notice right now, it's publicly accessible, right? So um, right now, if I wanted to, we want to password protect this. By default, there is a, a protect stack inside of Total CMS. So you can add this. Now, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to go into this partial and uh, I'm going to add it into here, okay? And uh, what this will do is this will, because this partial is on every admin page, we want to make sure that we protect every admin page, right? So um, yeah, the password here is, what is the password? Uh, placeholder, what is the default password? Where, oh, here, it's password, okay? So that's fine. We'll just, we'll change one, two, three, four. We'll just make it one, two, three, four. And uh, go back. Okay, so now I have um, admin and then let's just make sure if we go over here, uh, look, it's there as well. Okay, so let's publish that. <clears throat> okay, uh, now if we go ahead and go back to admin, you'll see that, hey, I can't get directly to it anymore. I need a login. So we're just going to go one, two, three, four, enter. Oh, I don't want to save it one password. And voila, we're in, and now I can freely go to uh, the blog post page, go to the admin page, and everything is locked. Cool. Okay. Our admin side is done. Okay, I have a few blog posts, so now let's, now let's work on displaying these blog posts on the content side. Okay. Sweet. So to start off, we need a blog list. Okay, we need able, we need to be able to display all of our blog posts on a single page. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and on the content stacks, we're going to add a blog list to the page. Now, if you notice, there's an error here saying you must add the CMS core stack in order for the CMS to function. That is correct. So there is a just like on the admin side, there is an admin core on the content side, there is a CMS core, and we're going to add that to the top of our page. I'm going to go ahead and add my license. Oops. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to minimize that. We don't really need it. Okay. And uh, here, I guess, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Now on the blog list, uh, we need to make sure that the total CMS ID matches what we had on the admin side. It needs to all be the same. That's the key that ties it all together. Okay. Remember, I left mine as the default of total CMS, but if you changed yours to be blog or products or news or whatever, you're going to have to make sure that that CMS ID is the same everywhere. Okay. Um, let's just build out a, a blog list really quick. So by default, we have a title. Um, let's go ahead and add. Um, we want the image. Okay. So maybe above the title, we want the image and then, um, I don't know, let's add, I guess I'll just keep it simple. We have title and image. Okay. Um, you can have more things. Um, you know, you can have the tags you cannot, there are some things you'll notice that, um, the extra content isn't here. Um, the full blog content isn't there. There are some fields that are only accessible on the blog post page and not accessible in the blog list, okay? Um, you cannot update that. That is a decision that I have made. Um, and uh, yeah, we're stuck with these fields only in the blog list. And this is for performance reasons, okay? Um, so in the blog list, I think I'm just gonna keep all the defaults in terms of what grid and 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 whatnot to take. 
I mean, it'll display up to 10 blog posts. We only have three at the moment, so we're, we should be okay. Let's go ahead and preview that. And voila, there we have our three blog posts. Now, as you see here, it created cropped versions. Um, for this particular one, that doesn't look too great. We could potentially update that so that it gets the thumbnail instead of the um, crop. Okay, um, so there we go, right? Um, and uh, yeah, the styling here is ho-hum, but uh, it would look nicer if we were in foundation, but it's okay. Okay, maybe let's go ahead and um, um, let's see, background. Let's create like a slightly off-white background. How about that? Just to make it a little bit nicer. Let's do like, um, whoops. When I, when I click there. There, just a slight gray background and uh, maybe add a little bit of padding, kind of like a 16 pixel padding. All right, All right. there we go. That looks a little, and around, add some round corners. We'll do like um, eight pixel rounding. There we go, just, just something. I'm not gonna go and try to make a beautiful styled blog list right now. The point is just getting blog up and running, okay? So, okay, cool. Um, there is our blog list, okay? Now we need to, we need to configure so when we click through, um, it actually takes us to the blog post page, okay? So our blog list is done. Let's go to the blog post page. So the blog post page, again, you're gonna need the CMS core. I'm just gonna copy and paste that just, just because. You'll probably wanna have this inside of a partial again so that any page that you need to access CMS content, this CMS core is on every page, okay? Um, and just for fun later on, I'm probably gonna do something on homepage, we'll add it there too. All right, blog post. So now um, we're gonna add the blog post stack to the page. And let's go ahead and add some content here. So we have our title up at the top. Um, and then maybe we have a date and then maybe we have the um, summary and then um, below the summary, we're gonna put in the image, I guess. Actually the image probably, maybe the image will be up top. Okay. And then below the summary, we're actually gonna put in a gallery. Okay. Um, and, and then below the gallery, we're going to do the full blog content. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to dive into the settings of all of these. Um, but we need to go to the blog post page. We need to make sure that the CMS ID actually works. Okay. And it's, it's what, again, the same CMS ID as all the other ones. It's what ties everything together. Okay. Now this preview post is important. Okay. And what this does is it um, allows us to preview our blog posts inside RapidWeaver, okay? And so what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go back to uh, our website online. Oops, I closed it. And let's go to admin. Um, let's go to this blog post and I'm gonna copy the permalink, okay? And I'm gonna paste it directly into there. So now when I preview inside RapidWeaver, um, it's gonna bring in the content for that blog post. Oh, people are, thank you. Let's not, let's not try to live update um, this as I'm doing this. I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna delete that. Thank you very much. Okay, please, I, at least while I'm live streaming, let's keep things and not play with things. Thank you very much. Okay, um, so you'll notice that as I, uh, when I previewed this, this light box came up and this is a very important step that a lot of people miss, okay? Um, which tells me they actually aren't previewing their content, their blog post page, okay? Um, this light box comes, comes up inside RapidWeaver and um, it says that we, that the server, total CMS on the server, doesn't know 
where the blog post page is. It's this is an important setting that's used in various places. And it's one place where it, it helps us link on the blog list side. Okay. So on the server, it's saying nothing set. The default setting is this. We're just going to go ahead and submit that. Okay. So now if I preview again, um, that light box shouldn't come up. Okay. At all. And these should show up as like a, a nice gallery. Interesting. Hmm. I go ahead and uh, I haven't played around with, let's go ahead. I'm going to change the gallery really quick. We're going to do uh, post gallery. I'm going to put that there. Let's preview that. Hey, right, there we go. Okay. Not, I'm not trying to win any any design challenges here. We're just getting the blog up and running, okay? Um, so there we go. There is a blog post page, okay? We're not getting that warning inside um, preview. Now, with that said, there are times, depending on a lot of various factors, okay? Um, when you submit that light box, sometimes it won't say like when you, when you click the save button, you get an error. Okay. Um, one way around that is to preview in the browser. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, you can use command P and you preview the blog post page in the browser. Okay. And, um, that light box should show up and, uh, you can try submitting it from the browser window. And if that doesn't work, you can go ahead and go to develop disable cross origin restrictions and that should allow you to save that light box regardless okay um again that it, it there's so many factors that that factor into whether or not that light box would potentially error so um if if you're trying to preview in rapweaver and you can't submit that that form inside that light box go ahead and open it preview it in safari go to develop disable cross origin restrictions. And then you might need to refresh the page after you've disabled it. Uh, and then that light box should submit. So that is one step that some users, again, depending on your host or your setup and various other things, um, that is a potential fix and workaround for that solution for that situation. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> hey, so let's go ahead and publish this now. We're going to publish. And uh, let's go and let's look. So I can go to, let's go to the blog. There it goes. And if I click through to this, voila, we go to the actual blog post page. Right, and I can go back, I can click on this one, and we're on the actual blog post page. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now um, what do we need to do um, to a lot of times what people want? It's really weird if I go to a home page. Like, did I add that to the home page too? No, I didn't. That's strange. What's the blog post URL here? Oh, well, crazy. Well, I had, I didn't even know that was possible. You can have the home and the blog. I had them both set to, oh, because you need to right click and say set as homepage. Wow, crazy. How did I never do that before? Crazy sauce. So we make sure our homepage is nothing with index. Our blog page is slash blog with index. Our blog post page is blog with post.php. Again, I haven't explained why this yet, but we're getting there. Okay. And uh, let's republish that. Okay.
Posh blog. Interesting. I'm just going to like republish all files just for, just for kicks. Maybe just closing the browser window. Safari, sometimes it's cache is like, uh, so annoying. <laughs> Luckily my publishing setup to my server is pretty quick. So I don't have to wait too long. Um, Gaston put it in the chat. The CMS ID should not be the same everywhere if you use more than one. Yes, that is correct. You need to make sure the CMS ID is is the same as long as it's accessing the correct blog, right? I mean, so if you have multiple blogs, you're you're gonna have multiple IDs, right? Um, hopefully I I wasn't too uh overexert on that. Um, but yes, so yes, if you have multiple blogs, you're gonna have multiple IDs. You just have to make sure that the correct stack is tied to the correct ID. Okay. So thank you for the clarification, Gaston. Um, okay, let's go ahead and open Safari again. That is pretty nuts. Wow, br the browser has like cached. Like that is crazy. Empty cache. There it goes. Wow, that was nuts. Did you see all that? Sometimes Safari's caching, man. That just drives me bonkers. Okay, now we have a blank homepage with a blog page. Um, and then our admin page that is... Um, it's still logging me in because of the uh, the timing. Um, it's not timed out yet. My connection hasn't timed out yet. All right. Um, oh, and then, so what I want to test if we went to blog um, and we clicked through to these blog posts, what we'll notice is the, let's look at the URL here. Okay. So if we look at the URL, the URL is, it's not pretty. Right, I mean, it has this slash blog slash post dot php question mark permalink equals and then our permalink. What we'd really want is the ability to have just slash blog slash permalink, and then it takes us to our blog post. Okay, um, that's what we'd really really want. So let's set that up. Okay. Okay. Right. So to do that. Uh, we need to be on the content blog post page, okay? And then we go to the blog post stack, um, and we go to the settings on that stack. And then right here, we're going to set post URL. We're going to set it to pretty, okay? And what I can do is I'm going to preview this page. And that light box is now showing up. And it's saying that the server setting is this, but now it noticed that we wanted to use pretty URLs. So it's saying that we want to use this. So what I can do is first, I'm gonna copy these rules that it gives us. I'm just gonna copy that to our clipboard and I'm gonna submit this and that that's saved, okay? Now, if we, um, if we go to our website, let's go to sandbox, uh, joeworking.net and go to blog. And if, if we, Refresh that. Well, you'll notice if you hover over this, you'll notice at the bottom corner of this browser, if we look at the browser now, it goes to that URL, okay? But that URL doesn't work, okay? And that's because what we need to do is we need to take those rules that were in that light box and we need to put those inside of our HT access file, okay? So I'm gonna open up, uh, I use Transmit. You can use your favorite app um, or you can actually use RapidEaver. Um, uh, to edit your HD access files as well. But I'm just going to edit transmit. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paste in those rules and I'm going to save it. Okay. And let's close that, minimize this. 
And if I, I should just be able to refresh that and voila, it works. So now we go to our blog, I can go to this one, our blog post works. And if we look at the URL, it's a nice, pretty blog post. Okay. So there we go. I mean, there's a lot of things that we could also work on with total CMS here, uh, obviously making it prettier and doing some really cool dynamic stuff. But can you change the order of the blog list? Um, yeah, I mean, so here in the blog list, um, there's orders. So you can, there's all kinds of different, there's a sort order for newest first, oldest first, alphabetical, natural order, order. you can shuffle it. Um, and then you can also do all kinds of filtering. So you can filter based off dates, whether or not you want featured. So let's say right here on, I'm gonna go over here, let's copy this blog list to the home page, And I'm only gonna display uh, the featured blog posts. So we're gonna say only featured. And uh, if we preview that, um, we'll see that I have, remember I only added one featured blog post, right? So we only have one, but now on the home page, featured blog posts are shown. So uh, yeah, you can do all that stuff. Have a look at the settings, read through the tool tips are, are really important here. Um, they kind of explain all of this. Um, so yeah, you can also filter by category. So if on a particular page, you wanted to filter a blog list and only show blog posts from certain categories, or in this case, you wanted all featured posts from a particular category, you can do that too, right? So it's very flexible. This filter and sort option here is very, very powerful. Okay. You can also filter by date. Only past posts, future posts, all posts. Um, so yeah, essentially, but the default is only past posts. So what this does is if you want um, a post to be published automatically in the future, all you have to do is put a set the date on the blog post to be when you want that blog post to be displayed and it will magically show up at the correct time. So there we go. Um, hopefully this helped everybody. Um, it was, uh, again, it was pretty basic for those that are pros at this and have done it a million times. Um, but hopefully it helped everyone else out a little bit. Um, I skipped a lot of settings that didn't, that weren't required, right? I touched the most minimal amount of settings to get the blog working and hopefully that helped you guys out. And, um, what I will do here is I will, um, I will save this project and I'm going to drag it up to, uh, here. And you can have this project file. Um, I just put the project file in the chat, um, a link so you can download that project file. The one I just created right this very second. Um, although I just noticed I named it wrong. It's BLGO, but whatever, project file works. Um, so cool, thank you very much guys. Uh, did you say why your name? Oh, um, okay, so why I named it post.php? Uh, was for those HT access rules. Um, it makes it makes that HT access rule thing really smooth. Okay. Um, so yeah, sorry. Thank you very much for pointing that out, Dave. Um, it was for the HT access rules because a lot of times what, what I used to show like probably way back in the day, um, was I would do, um, this would be slash blog slash post. Okay. And then this would be index. And if you, if you name your blog post like this, um, essentially uh, the HT access rules would generate, let me open up a, um, let's just go to like text editor or something. Oh, let's just go to VS code. Okay. Um, so if we did, here, let's go back to, Let's just get this URL here. Okay, uh, we'll make it bigger. All right. So this was our blog post, okay? And um, remember here, our blog post page was called uh, post.php, okay? Um, now, if we had instead, Hopefully you guys can see this and make it as big as possible. All right now, if instead, if we had named our blog post, um, this, okay. Which some people used to do, right. 
Um, I, and I even told people to do this a long time ago until I got smarter um, and had this brilliant idea. Um, so if we were to name our URLs this, so slash blog slash post index.php, um, the URLs to our blog posts wouldn't be this pretty slash blog slash blog post. What they would be is they would be um, slash blog slash post slash permalink, right? So by adding that extra folder in there, um, it gives us an extra folder in our pretty URLs. And that's not what we wanted, right? So um, by naming post PHP, we can get rid of that extra directory, okay? So um, when, and yeah, and the HT access rule builder that I have um, kind of takes care of all of that. So there's the kind of the full blown explanation on why we're using post.php instead of index.php. It's purely for these pretty URL rules. So good question. Thanks. Uh, thanks for making me clarify that, Dave. Um, including the total CMS admin license. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I mean, the license is there, but you can't use it on any other domain except mine. So, and you don't have access to my, my domain. So, um, yeah, thank you for pointing that out though. Um, that's very true. Um, so thanks Gaston. I appreciate that shout out on that. In fact, here, I'll, I'll build out a new one here. We're just going to, uh, we'll do this. So that no one goes ahead and just publishes this up to their server and then, you know, think that they can just go ahead and do whatever. There we go. All right. There's another download for those that weren't trigger happy. Oh shoot. I was I wasn't sharing my screen during that whole URL thing. <laughs> oh dang it. Good thing good thing I didn't close the file. Okay. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Um so here we go. Uh here's the two examples. So this is how I told you how to do it. Unbelievable. I can't believe I wasn't sharing my screen. What a what a noob. Okay. So here we go. This is the, how I told you to do it. And, uh, if you see here, um, this is the page that we have. And then this is what our pre URL looks like. If we were to do it like this, which, which is slash blog slash post slash index.php, the pretty URL would have that extra layer in there as well. Right. Um, and we don't want that. I don't think it looks, I think this way looks nicer, right? So um, that's the reason we did the post.php there instead of post index.php. Okay. So there we go. Sorry guys for not sharing my screen. <laughs> what a rookie. Okay. Sorry about that. Totally missed those ones. That's why I, that's why I had a, a barrage of comments coming in with no no sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Well, good thing I, I you guys said that, and um, I appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys, um, hopefully we'll see you at the conference coming up, okay? Uh, October 22nd, three days. Again, 100% virtual. You get to uh, attend from the comfort of your own home, and uh, hopefully we'll see you there. And uh, well, I'm sure we'll see a lot of you in a couple days on the Hangout this Friday. And um, if not, I will see you guys hopefully next week. Oh wait, oh, wait. I shared my screen. You guys didn't see my screen? Just clarification really quick. You guys saw the URL screen, right? I verified that. I... Okay, sweet. I think the stream's a little behind right now.
Cool. Okay, guys. Um, take care. We will see you um next week. Live stream. See you on the community as well. Take care.